So this is my binary search tree. Have uh, ability to add nodes of whatever value. Now enter in as they should visually. And removing nodes will adjust those as it should. And so here is the code that makes this up. So, I mean, the basic node with its value, its parent node, its low node, and high node being uh, where the uh, other nodes, you know, its ch children nodes, its location, its uh, value on the screen, whether or not it's the root, and where the root should be if you are the root. Um, so at the beginning, they just set their position, or they grab their position and uh, value and set those. And so every uh, frame draw, it will set itself, if it's the root, to the root position. And then otherwise, or even, so if it's the root, set itself to the root position. And then if it has a low node, set the low node to the correct position based on its own position. Same thing with the high node. So that way, the only node that is deciding its own location is the root node, which it's being told where it needs to be by this uh, variable here, which is set in the inspector. Uh, all other nodes are just placed based on where their parents say to go. So the tree itself has a root node, a uh, node prefab just so they can enter in new nodes, uh, a current node, and then access to the box so that it knows the value. Um, so here's where you add the node, it will grab the value from that box, create a new node with that variable, and if there's not a root, make it the root. Otherwise, if there was a root, then we'll go to the root and we'll just iterate through and try and figure out where it's going to go. So if it's higher, then we'll go to the higher side. If it's lower, then we go to the lower side. And if uh, ever in null, then it'll just get thrown in in the correct spot. So if there is a higher node, set it to the higher, the current node to the higher node. Otherwise, it is now the high node because that means that it was null. Uh, I wrote a find node uh, function that will go sort through the tree and return uh, a node that has the value that we entered. Uh, so it works very similarly to placing a node, uh, but it will return uh, the node that it finds or null if it doesn't find a node with that value. And then removing the node, which ended up being a lot more work than I expected. Um, so we have to first <clears throat> uh, find the node, which is the very first thing we do. Um, from there, uh, if there was a node found with that value, then we will go to the node with that value. And... Um, decide if its parent node, if it is the high or low to its parent node, and if the parent node has a second child. So if it has both, then it makes it a lot more work than just having one node attached, because if there's just one node attached, then you can just simply make the child the new child. But when there's two, you have to go through and 
readjust uh, the nodes properly so that they still line up the way that they're supposed to. So this is the side for if the node that we're removing is on the high side. And so then if the node to remove uh, has a, if the node's parent has a low node but not a high node, then this, or if it's, sorry, if the node that we're moving has a low node but not a high node, then this is how its children are dealt with. Here's if it's a high node but it doesn't have a low node. And then here's if we have both, which is the most interesting of the uh, scenarios because you have to make sure that they still line up properly after removing the parent node. And there's just there's no node, then it's simply just removed. And then this would be the other side of if we're removing from the left side of the tree. So if we're removing uh, from a loaned node, then the same thing with the children, but adjusted to be on the left side of the tree rather than the right side of the tree. Um, but overall, the only issue I really ran into was unfortunately I couldn't figure out a visual display that made it so that nodes wouldn't overlap in this weird way. Um, but uh, code-wise, it is still properly laid out. Uh, it's just a visual thing that I just couldn't figure out how to fix and it's why I'm kind of late on this, but I figured that it shouldn't be too big a deal because um, even if they're overlapped, oops, they're overlapped like that, uh, I can show over here that this one's parent is here which is the 45 node, which is correct. And the 56 node that was overlapping, its parent is up here, the 58 node. So in code, it's still right, it's just a visual thing, and I'm kind of doing the visual thing as an extra anyway. So I figured it should be okay to be slightly buggy. Thank you.